Hi, I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your ham radio sensei. Onegaishimasu. 2022 marked the return of the Dayton Ham Vention to the Green County Fair and Expo Center in Xenia, Ohio. This was the 70th anniversary of the Hamvention and was labeled as the Reunion. Ham Radio Outlet was there, of course, and I walked the Hamvention halls to see what was there. In this video, I spoke with Wayne Bauman from Diamond Antennas. What we have new right now uh, for Diamond is one of the antennas is the ham and, and GMRS antenna. What it has on the fold over, it's a little threaded barrel so you can fold it over. And then when you want to lock it back up, bring it down, hand tighten it, and you're ready. The big thing is that we did is we did a test for everybody. If you look down here, we did a grounded side mount, so if you have a K400 on the side of your trunk, this is the frequencies it'll do. If you have a center mount drilled through your, uh, your hood or trunk, this is the frequency here, and a mag mount. So you can see there's a slight change on all three mountings, but we wanted people to know exactly what it'll do with the mount you have. So this has been, we've, made it a little bit heavier duty, a little bit uh, um, easier with the fold over for the locking, no spring in there. But that's been a good antenna for the ham and, and GMRS frequencies. Now for trucks, over here, what we have, trucks are hard to mount on. All the trucks was some of them don't have stake pockets. They have plastic, you know, over it. You have to cut it out. But what we have here is an adhesive mount that'll go right on the back of the glass. Coax comes with it, it's 13 feet. So all you're doing is you adjust the height on the back of the glass of the truck up and down to where you're not gonna hit your garage door when you're parking it or something, you know, get the good best height you can. And the adhesive is by 3M, and it's called VHB for very high bond. And it's a really, really good adhesive. When you clean the glass and stick it on there, it's stuck. And the antenna that we have, our NR770 series, doesn't require a ground. So this antenna is 258s on UHF, half wave on VHF, and you can have this hanging on a tree and it's gonna work. It, it's uh, put it on glass, motor homes, wherever you put it, as long as it's tied to coax, you're doing good. So having it on an adhesive mount, you're not gonna lose anything by not having it grounded. So you'll still have the same SWR and it gives you a nice clean mount for your truck. On our, on our HT antennas, we have this new one here. It's a SRH770SA. And how you get it in the bag is apart. So when you put it together, you get a little bit of high gain, higher gain than other HTs. It's flexible. A lot of guys that do mountain topping, a lot of guys that are uh, climbing through backpacks and forest, you hit something, it's gonna pop right back up. So it, it's a good antenna to have for traveling if you need just your handheld and you want that extra gain. Over here, our flexible antenna, a lot of the times if you're gonna put your handheld inside your backpack or from the Boy Scouts, you know, camping, you can put that antenna on when you need it. You lift it up when you wanna put it away you can put it away in your bag and, and not actually hurt your antenna. So this works out for a lot of the people that you, you want to tuck your handheld away and only use it every now and then. So this antenna has been a real good one for that.